Okay, so hello everyone. For this discussion video, our focus is on data description. Despite the fact that our topic should focus on the probability distribution, I recognize that some of you are not or did not graduate as in a STEM strand, and probably some of you uh, wala na kaagi sang gen math subjects, or even some of those who uh, nga nakaagi sang gen math subjects, medyo nalipatan na ang concept of data description. So, okay, let's start with your categorical data description. So, take note that when you are dealing with categorical data sets, the mode, which is simply the most observed category, is very useful. For example, if, for example, ang mga mobile phone shops, nagabaligya sila 15 different models, the mode represents the kung ano di ang pinaka bakal the most saleable or most sought after ng model so consider also the data set which consists of sari sari ng pizza flavors maginabaligya si sa kapitsiyaria but for example in a particular day so <clears throat> um, and then for example based on a specific ng set na nakita mo kung ano dara ang pinaka damo what which has the highest frequency or most number of counts that is it's mode. But si Dingon, it will be your basis on kung for the next day, ano naman ang kinanglan mo nga mas damo nga ingredients or ano ang kinanglan mo nga i-mass produce and the next nga, nga uh, production. So, okay. What if we will be talking about the numerical data description of ungrouped data? So, again, we will have <coughs> numerical data description of ungrouped data. Okay, so first na diri is the measure of nang ginatawag natin na central tendency. So, I know ang iban diri medyo familiar na sini. We have your central tendency. So, a measure of central tendency, it is the numerical value indicative of a typical value of a certain distribution. One of the most common and useful measures of central tendency is the average. So, I know medyo familiar na ito term na average. So, the average of a set of measurement which can be the uh, arithmetic mean, pwede nga mean siya. So, you could also solve for the median here. You could also find the value of your mode. Okay, so, ano ang butsilingon of your arithmetic mean if you will be talking about ungrouped data, especially in the field of data analytics and statistics? <clears throat> the arithmetic mean of a finite set of measurement is equal to the sum, sang tanan-tanan nga mga measurements, or tanan-tanan ng mga values divided by the total number of measurements. But si Lingon, add siya natin, tanan-tanan, and then divide natin kung pila sila tanan ka below. So, the population and sample means are computed using sang lainanay ng formula. So, when we are talking about your population mean, Okay, so population mean, so that is, ang yung symbol is mu, that is equal to the summation of value, any possible value starting from 1 as to your possible value of n, divided by kung pila sila tanan ka bilog. That means, i-add mo ang tanan-tanan, divided by kung pila sila tanan ka bilog. Where n, ang n dari is the total number of measurement in a specific na population. So, okay, so makita nyo lang na karoon, medyo hapos na siya kung uh, aras sa example. How about if, for example, nagkuha ka lang specific sample of a population, paano na siya gina-represent? This is what we refer as your sample mean. Okay, sample mean, ang kinalain niya lang is that you are now using lain niya value. So, we have x bar, dari, kung sample mean siya, kung sample lang mean of a certain sample. So, same lang mo na dyan po ng iyong mga equation. 
but ang kinalain niya representation natin is small letters for the value of n. So we have your xi galing na multiply natin by your fi divided by your summation of so okay so okay so erase ko ni Dana ha. So that is summation of xi all over same in Japan your n. Okay, so small letter lang siya. So, pero the re, ang n, the re is not representing a population, but kung pila ka bilog, ang number of measurement nga, ginaconsider natin for a sample. Okay, so, if ever, ang iyong mga observation nga, for example, ari nga value, of course, with a specific frequency, may ara siya, nagbabutang, dara kung ano siya kadamo, ang means may be computed using a different na formula. So, kung may ara frequency consideration, may lain man siyang formula, and that is, same in Japan, you have summation of i, or summation of xi, pero ginamultiply siya natin by fi man. So, from 1 to the value of n, pero ang sa dalom, you have a summation man of your frequency, which is from 1 man Japan to n. So, mula nang kinalain. So, makita, talang na siya as we progress sa sininga, sa sininga tape. So, <clears throat> very simple application of, of finding the central tendency or finding the mean is that, for example, you are asked to, you are asked to solve for the mean of, okay, for example, you are asked to solve for the mean of a set of observation nga may ara values nga 3, uh, 7, we have, for example, 12, we have 5, 7, and 10. So, amuni. For example, amuni ang aton nga observe set of observation. And you are asked to find the sample mean. So, using the formula for sample mean, pwede naton kwa on ang ating sample mean by solving. So, since sample mean, imong representation is x bar, that is equal to summation dapat sing imong individual values, individual observation starting from the first one, pakatu sa kung pila da sila kabilog, divided by kung pila sila tanan ka bilog. So, medyo complicated na ang representation of formula, but ang paggamit sa process is just very simple. That means, summation ng money. Add ko kuno ang halindri una kung nga nakita sa sa katapusan. So that is 3 plus 7 plus 12 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10. And that I have to divide it kung pila na sila tinan ka below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is equal to this is 10, 22, 27, 34. That is 44 all over 6. So 44 all over 6, that is... So we have 7.3. So this is now our sample mean. Okay, so bisan uh, ano pa na siya kadamo, all you just have to do is to add sang mga values divided by kung pila sila tanan ka dito. So whether it be ano man ang type of problem, experiments, or whatever, da, so umulong na Japan ang process nga gamiton. Next, we have, let me proceed with the term na ginatawag natin as median. So, ano ang median? The median of a set of uh, measurements so uh, is arranged in increasing order sa ato nga magnitude. Kag ang pinakatunga-tunga nga part or the middle value when k is odd or if or ang imong uh, value be ang total number sang imong observation is add ang pinakatunga-tunga that is your your median kun add number siya pero kun even number siya the median is the mean sang ara sa duwa ka tunga-tunga nga value so i-add mo ang duwa and then you have to divided by two. so for example so medyo for example we have 9 we have 2, we have 7, we have 11, we have 14, and we have 6. So, amuni, for example, lang atun nga set of data. So, uh, and we are asked to find for the median, ano atun humoon. First, the measurement should be arranged in increasing order of magnitude. So, start kita with the smallest nga value, 
the smallest natin yung value is we have 2, we have 6, we have 7, we have 9, we have 11, and we have 14. So since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is an even number, therefore wala kita sa exactly arag isa tunga-tunga, but we have dua ka inner value. So ang middle nga value. But siningon, we have to add sa sininga value. So, we have 7. So, your median is equal to, so, we have 7 plus 9 divided by 2. Okay, that is 16 divided by 2, that is 8. So, this is now the value of our median. Okay, so another example lang. So for example, we have seven students. Seven students were asked how many text messages they sent on a given a day. So, or chat message. So, their answer, for example, is uh, we have 10, we have 14, may are like answer nga 5, we have also 20, we have 8, and we have 30, 2, 4, 6. Isa na lang, we have 15. And then we are asked to find for the median. So, again, what you have to do is to arrange the data in increasing order of magnitude. So, we will have increasing order of magnitude. So, we will have start out with 5. You have 8. We have 10. We have 14. We have 15. We have 20 and we have 30. So, 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay? So, since ang aton nga value or ang aton nga, nga number is an odd number, 7 siya, 7 sila tanan, then the median is kung anong ara sa tunga tunga. So, ang pinaka center is this one. So, we have 14. Therefore, this is our media. Okay, so we have here another uh, another natin na parameter to measure for the central tendency and this is what we term as mode. So for those who are already uh, who have gone through your uh, gen math Medyo familiar na kamo with this one. When we are talking about the mode, this is, we are talking about the measurement of which of our measurement or aton yung mga data that reappears most frequently. So there may be, pwede nga uh, wala kasang mode nga nag-appear. So, or there could be dua ka mode. So ang dua ka mode, ginurafer natin na survey modal. Pwede nga mera kita tatlo ka mode, which is trimodal or pwede nga more than kita three modes na pwede consider or this is what we refer as your multimodal in a given nga set. For example, we have a this set here. So we have 3, 5, 3, 6, 6, 9, 10, 6 and we have 7 and if we are asked to find for the mode of this one, so we have to look for the value that appears most as in a set. So the value na 6 here appears 3 times. So thus, the mode is 6 since it appears with the highest frequency sa data dataset. Okay, so that is how simple kung paano natin i-determine ang mode of a certain nga na data set. Okay, so we have to identify So, we have here, so we have to identify if it always exists or if it is either affected by extreme values sa mga tagas ng mga values sa ato niya sa ato niya mga data so is mean affected by or is it does it always exist and is it affected by the extreme values same with our median and our mode
Okay, so for our mean, so does it, does it always exist? So our mean, so uh, ang ato yung mean, yes, this always exist. So, bisan taas, mani or gamay ang value na to and this always exist. So, does your mean, af is your mean affected by kung tagas ang mga values na to? Yes. How about ang other na to nga measure of central tendency? So, for your median, kung taas ang ato nga, nga values, so, is it affected? Yes. So, or may mga, or does it always exist? Yes. May ara, gita yasang center, may ara, gita yasang values. So, for kung taas mo ang value ni mo uh, sa mga mga data, so it is not, a, wala siya yung affect sa values ng ito nga, median. Kaya ang ginatanaw, ito lang maya ang central part of your uh, data. For the mode naman, so kung may taas mo ang value, for as long as hindi siya yaan mo ng pinaka-frequent sa ating mga data set, so uh, hindi siya maapektuhan sa ito nga extreme values and ang bako kagina, hindi necessary nga may ara kagid mode always in your data set. So, pwede nga wala ka exist ang ato nga. Okay, so, munisyon nyo ang kinalain of the different property of our measure of central tendency with their media, mean median Another property or another nga pwede na to i main counter when we talk about sang ungrouped data is the measure of variation. So or this one is also referred as our dispersion. So ano ni siya? So when we are talking about this one, we are considering the numerical value nga gina-compute natin from the given data set that indicates sa atong na scope of tanan-tanan natin yung mga data values. So, uh, we have some different naman na mga terms na pwede ma-encounter. Our range. So, ano ang range? Range is the set of measurement. Uh, set of, of, if we are considering a set of specific measurement, we are talking about the difference between the largest and our smallest na value. So, that is, your formula is your largest value minus your lowest or smallest na value. So, the, re the range is the sim simplest na measure of your variation since the range only use the largest values. So, if may ara ka na dagko ng mga value, so, maapektuhan kita ang imong range. So, let us look at for the, for a specific example. So, for uh, for example, we have a specific na, na data set here. So, tanawunta kung kun ano ang epekto sini sa ating range. So, we have here set A and set B. We have 5, 10, we have 15, we have 20, we have 25, we have 30, and we have 35. And then for the set B, we have 2, we have 7, 10, we have 13, we have 15, we have 22, and we have 71. Okay, so if we have to calculate kung ano ang, ang aton nga mean sa sining nga data set, so uh, i-add naman lang sila tayo divided by sa atong total number of uh, data da rin. So we have 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 plus 35. So divided by sa kumpila sila kabilog. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Divided by 7, so our mean is 20. Next one, if we have to calculate naman sa atun yung mean of the set B, so we will have 2 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 15 plus 22 plus 71. And we would come up with 140 man And if we divide this with the total number of values, which is 7, so we have 
the same value of your mean, which is 20. Okay, so how about if we will be solving for the range? Dali ni sila magkinala in. Despite the fact na pareho sila sa value of your mean, we will have a different value of range. So, okay, so range naton is largest value minus your lowest value. So, we will have, so, okay. So, for the range sa ating set A, that is 35 minus 25, that is 20. For the second set is 71 minus 2, that is 69. Use natin on a specific data set ng atong nga range. Okay, another term na pwede natin may encounter is your population variance. It is defined by the average sa ato ng value, and then population variance will be denoted by your your uh, naka squared na ng representation. So we will have a specific so amo na ngatong nga form ang ngatong nga equation ang ngatong nga nga symbol nga gamiton so that is for your population variance so we have a specific formula nga gamiton for your population variance and uh, this one is our formula for your population Okay, so we have this summation from first mod mu, then we will have squared all over uh, pila ka bilog ang mga specific na value of a data set. So pila ta ng ka bilog ang term nga ra sa mga data set. Okay, so just consider lang sa sininga formula. Okay, so um, pwedeng if you will be looking at your statistics, we are considering some population variance pero pwede man we will have your sample variance. Sample variance is kung nagkuha lang kita yung sample. Still para use lang mo sa Japan natin yung formula. So, so we have, so still we have your summation of, so from your, from our first, manjapon nga, so halin sa ato nga first, nga value of our data set, pakato manjapon sa Amy natin nga, okay, so halin sa ato nga first, nga value, pakato sa any possible value natin sang, sang n. So that is our pilada ka bilog ang aton nga gina consider. And then, so, okay, raise na nida na yung n. This is for your uh, summation later on. So we will have this one. So, okay, sample variance, still the same. We will have your x sub i lang galing, pero x bar ang gina consider natin dari sa punta because we will be, uh, we are considering sample nga. Uh, mean dere. So we will have your x bar. So we have x bar here. So we have still squared man sa Japan para, or we, squared siya. So squared niya and then squared man dere. So we will have still divided by kita sa dalong. So we have to divide sa ngato nga whole nga equation. Okay, so ang kabiligan galing nga equation ang kinangalan natin ay divide by n minus 1. So we have here, this is the formula for the variance na ito, whether it be in a population variance or your sample variance.
Okay, so for example, we have a problem where we have, for example, 15 students who were randomly selected and asked, for example, on how many hours they studied for a preliminary exam examination and set in uh, engineering data analysis. And the answer is presented here. So we have this set of values kung pinakaura sila nag, nagatuon. So if we are asked to find for the variance of this specific value of your data set and th then we what we have to do so that's okay if we have to uh, present this in a dot tabular form or like a table siya. so we have 15 darika values na presented okay so let's solve for its sample variance on kun ano ang given. So, we have your uh, cons isa lang siya kasample or kabilugan ng population but it won't matter man on your specific calculation. Okay, so take note we have also a separate nga alternative na formula ang pwede gamitin if we will be solving for any variance. Okay, so considering na may ara ka na as uh, is from your first value as a sa n. Okay, so we have your xi squared minus summation of this part is lang siya ang ining type of equation. Ang kinalain niya lang is you will have your n all over n minus 1 as our denominator. So, either of this pwede natin gamitin to para sa pag-solve sa inyong mga variance. Okay, so take note lang. So this is all over ha. So sa atin yung bilog niya equation. Okay, so let's present this dana in its tabular we have presented this in terms of a table of form. Okay, so we have Okay, so we have your x and then we have to identify your x squared para masapos. So we have here, so 3, 0, 0, okay, 5, 9. We have 2, 1, Squared sa aton yung x value, this is 64, 36, this is 9, this is 0, this is 0, this is 25, we have 4, so this is 4, this is 1, okay, so we have here, 3 squared is 9, 7 squared is 49, we have 100, we have 0, this is 9, and this is 36. Okay, so now we have to add sa nga tanan nga value of your x. So we have, this is now representing your summation of first natin nga value as sa dari sa pinakalas na value, 15. So we have here, so i-add na ito tanan tanan nga value. So this is equal to So, i-add this sila. So, okay, so, solving all this, this will be 63. So, tanan-tanan niya nga values ang x is a i-add. Tanan-tanan nga value. And this will be, so, equal to, when you add mo nito ng tanan, this will be equal to 423. So you could calculate and you could check in your own for this one. Okay, so again, so we have a formula for your 
uh, sample variance, which is n, multiplied by the summation of your first value as sa n, and then we will have your, so we have your xi squared minus the summation of your values. Okay, so after calculating, so let's go back to the formula of your sample variance, which is equal to s squared. So we have to use sang atong uh, alternative na solution, which is n times your summation from your first na value hasta sa any possible value of n. We have your x i squared here minus your summation of your. So we have here summation of so this one. So naka squared siya. So we will have your, okay, so we have summation of your, from your first value, as nasa yung mga n value of your xi. Okay, so 15. We will have your naka-squared siya. So all over is ang n multiplied by n minus 1. So this is, so let's substitute the values here. So, okay. So, n na to is equal to 15. So, 15 ta ng kabilog. So, we'll have your 15 here. Multiplied by, so, x i squared. So, ang naka-squared na value, ang dun sum, nga may summation. So, that is equal to, so, this one, which is 423. So, we have 423 minus your, okay, so, we have summation na to, which is, so, 63. So, we have squared, naka-squared siya all over, pilatan ng kabilog, ato nga n, which is equals to 15, multiplied by 15 minus 1, or you will have 14. So, we have to solve this. Okay, so calculating, this is equal to, so we have your 15, multiplied by 423, minus 63 squared, all over 15 times 14. Okay, this is equal to, so we have 11 point, Okay, this is now, so, ang value, sang aton nga, sang aton nga sample variance. This is now will be our final answer. Okay, another one is Okay, so what is standard variation? Okay, so that would just be equal to the square root of your variance. Ang yung suma at nga variance, so is square root lang natin. It is using yung sininga symbol, so still this one, so this is for your standard deviation to magkita natin. So we have s squared the rate for your sample nga, nga variance, so is square root lang na siya. So related ang atin nga variance, kailan ka ng atin nga, nga standard deviation. So we have a specific formula. So Kabalo na ta kay square root naman lang siya. So that's, this is equal to your square root of your uh, population variance. So Therefore, gali, kung mag, kung mag, we are asked to solve for your standard deviation, kinangalan mo lang pa ako ng mga population, for example, variance, and solve for this uh, values. Okay, another term that we might encounter is ang ginatawag natin ng coefficient of variation. So, okay, so ano yung coefficient of variation? If ever you have a set of a specific na measurement or data, so, and in multiply siya natin by 100%. So, that is your coefficient of variation.
Okay, so we have so coefficient of variation again or CV that is equal to your your population coefficient of variation siya big letter small letter siya para sa ito ng mga sample variation or sample coefficient of variation so we have S na siya yeah, divided by your mean which is X bar times 100% so, depende lang give, if ever population variation, coefficient of variation or sample coefficient of variation ang ginapagita. Okay, so these are mga specific parameters na pwede natin ma-encounter when we will be considering some ungroup data. So, this is it for now. So, thank you, stay safe, and always